the month has been vaping in Massachusetts. Yeah, it's it's an issue. I go to principals meetings once a month, mm -hmm. uh, in the league principals meetings, so there's probably 25 to 30 of us in, the, in the league. No, just local. So okay. it's like us, Fitchburg, Clark uh, Shrewsbury, Clinton, mm -hmm. you know, as far away as Tingsboro and Shepherd Hill, Narragansett. So it covers most of Central Mass. It's the athletic league, basically. Oh, okay. um, and I would say, since this time last year, the biggest piece was, what are you guys doing about vaping? Yeah. How are you disciplining them? What are you doing? Mm -hmm. How are you educating? Um, I was happy to see the ban go into effect. Oh, really? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I just think it's going to send a message. I mean, I was back on the news last night watching the news, um, and I guess there's the 80th case of the weird lung thing in yeah. the state or mm -hmm. in New England and you know 800 nationwide or whatever they don't know what it is or I mean they know what's causing it but it's the new whatever yeah. Um, so yeah I'm happy to see the ban um, it's something we talk about it's something we battle with um, mm -hmm. I think it's the modern day cigarette of the 1960s and 70s that yeah. back then there were no warning labels so now here's the latest um, mm -hmm. So, I, you know, it's an uphill battle right now, quite frankly. Uh, you know, we confiscate, we don't, we suspend. Okay, we That's, discipline and suspend. That's okay. what we do. Um, is the first offense a suspension? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. What is the length of that suspension? It's usually somewhat short. You know, okay. it's a day or two. Okay. Uh, if it's marijuana in there, because that can be in there, it's, mm -hmm. it's a regular drug offense, and it's five to ten days, depending on what okay. it is. We, the last thing we want to do, and I think any educator wants to do is get kids out of school. Right. They need to be in school. We have an in-school suspension program, but we also need to send a message that it can't be tolerated. So, mm -hmm. you know, we try and work with the student and the parent. Mm -hmm. Parents, I'll be honest, parents are great. You know, they have they don't want their kid vaping. Um, right. They don't want their kid using marijuana. Um, we, mm -hmm. That's the other half of this, is that the legalization at 21 sent yeah. a difficult message for, because I'm sure, you know, there's older brother, sister, or parents, or medically, I mm -hmm. get it. Um, but the research of the brain pre-25 is no, you know, mm -hmm. so, so I do think there's, there's an issue and we don't bury our head in the sand. There's an issue at every high school in America right, right now. Um, I think this sent a message and I maybe, I, I think it's going to get better. I, mm -hmm. I really do. I think we, I'm hoping that we've reached our pinnacle use and it's going to get better and it's going to lessen. Do you think it will help because it will be harder for students to access vape products? Two things. One, yes. Mm -hmm. uh, but two, I think also they are starting to realize that there are significant, serious health effects that mm -hmm. are going on that maybe I didn't think about last year because I just, right. you know, it's, I mean, the, the publicity of it, the, the story of it, mm -hmm. the news article, you can't every night turn on the news. There's yeah. some article or every time you pick up a paper. Mm -hmm. yeah, so. When did you first start noticing it here, the students were vaping? It really peaked last, right off the bat, like probably late, where were we in, 2019, yeah. so probably late 18. So about a year ago. Yeah, I would okay. say a year ago peaked, big okay. time. It, yeah, you know, and no offense, we, we're a big school. We're yeah. a big urban high school with 1,900 kids, so yeah. I would go to a smaller one, or a smaller neighboring school, and they'd say, do you, have, do you guys have you done anything? With and I said, yeah, we, you know, we yeah. have a lot of it. You so know. what did it look like when you start to notice it? Was it kids in a bathroom, yeah. on the bus? Bathroom. bathroom. I just, I guess, you know, I mean, I can't control what goes on outside these walls, right? right? So down at the mall or whatever. Mm -hmm. But yeah, bathroom use, sometimes the daring ones, you know. So what's happening now is that they're, I wish I had them, I threw them all away. <laughs> um, it's the stick that looks like the, um, you know, the thumb drive. It's... Yeah. But now there are they're watches, they're can, there's sweatshirts being made to hide them in the sleeve of a sweatshirt oh or in the, the, the uh, string of a sweatshirt, so that it's easy, it's accessible much easier. Yeah. Um, we're, and we're trying to, they're one step ahead of us, right? Mm -hmm. We take away the stick, well, they hide it. They, they, so it was mostly bathroom use. Yeah. yeah. Um, you know, a very rarely daring kid in the middle of class. Yeah, you know, everyone Or a hallway. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I mean, I think, mm -hmm. yes. Um, Outside at games, I think it's easier, yeah. right? At a big football game with 2,000 kids last Friday night. Mm -hmm. right. The smell dissipates and it's a little less. Visible. It does, it yeah. does, you know. But then you're in an outside arena, right? So, one, you're not supposed to be smoking or vaping right. there. But two, it's 2,000 people. Is it you or is it the adult right. standing next to you? I, I don't know. And mm -hmm. uh, am I going to get into that battle with, you know? 
So, but we've addressed it. You know, I, I would say it would it would be of all of our offenses, discipline wise, mm -hmm. vaping was probably number one last year. Really? Yeah. Now, is it more of a nicotine issue or a THC both. issue? It's both. Yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah. So, you're are you having a problem with kids smoking or vaping THC in school as well? We have. I wouldn't yeah. say it's huge. I would say mm -hmm. the vaping itself. You know. Um, but yeah, we have. And you know, I mean, I can sit here and say we're lily white, and we're not. Right. We're, we're, we have issues. We're mm -hmm. 1900. I always say this is my line: is that we're. If you put 1,900 monks together up and, you know, <laughs> yeah. you're going to have issues. Right. Um, so, yeah, and we, and we address it, I think. Um, you know, we, we've done random searches. We've gone into classrooms and just mm -hmm. seen everybody put their backpack. So I think we've been pretty proactive about it. Mm -hmm. um, and ironically, on those searches, and they don't know we're coming, mm -hmm. we, but we don't turn up. Right. <laughs> Which is great. Okay. Okay. You yeah. know, and I also think... To sit here, yes, there's a lot of kids, but I think there's also, I don't want to overlook, there's a lot of kids that don't do it. There's right. a lot of kids that have chosen not to do it. A lot of kids that say, you know, I, you know, I have three three nephews and a niece, and I always say, if I ever, yeah. and they look at me, they go, are you nuts? You know how bad that is for you? Right. You know, they're, and, and not that our athletes don't do it or do do it or whatever, but I, I don't want to lose sight of the fact that, you know, we have kids making great decisions, too. Yeah. And also, we have very good parental support. When you pick up the phone and say, I took this out of your kid, like, the parents are angry. First of all, where did yeah. you get the 40 bucks for the apparatus itself? And where are you getting the money to buy the stuff, you know? Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. you know, and we've had pretty good support. Very good support, I should say. Mm -hmm. um, and so are you addressing this in health classes now? When I was in high school, it was all about cigarettes. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah that's, so it's funny. I sent stuff home last year um, school-wide that we got from the Department of Health, um, State Department of Health, and also from the Department of Education, just on that educating parents, because they don't know what they're looking for, you know, right. if it's new. it's you know, I was amazed. I remember the first time I saw I said, is this, this a thumb drive? And they're like, it's not a thumb drive. It's, yeah. So it catches you off guard a little bit. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, health classes, gym, and I just think general conversation, mm -hmm. you know, um, that we've asked faculty to just have general conversation about the health effects. I do, it was a big deal what Charlie Baker did. What yeah, the government it was. did. It was a big deal. I know this morning that he's now being sued yes. by the vape industry or the mm -hmm. stores because, stores, I think, yeah, yeah. going to put them on. And I get that piece too, mm -hmm. I do, but at what point, you know, I said, is now here comes the cycle. So now I'm going to sue the vaping store because I got a lung disease, and now the insurance company is going right. to sue me for making a bad decision. I mean, here it comes. Mm -hmm. So uh, I think it at least sounded the alarm that we got a problem. Right. we got to address it. Mm -hmm.